Oh, hello everyone. My name is Dr. Robert Bruce Alter, and today I'm going to be doing what a lot of people have been doing nowadays. It's called a Draw My Life. And what I'm going to be talking about is all my contributions that I made to science and specifically to joint recovery. Now remember, I am old, but I will try my try to do my best to remember everything I've done and explain it to all all of you in the video today. So let's get started. So to start off, I'm going to start off the way almost everybody else in the world starts off, and that's starting on my birth. I was born on December 14th, or no, 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 it was 15th, remember, I'm old. December 15th, 1924, and I was born in Stratford, Ontario. Yep, that's right, in Ontario. Close to you guys. Now, when I started to pr pursue my career in medicine, I had to start off by going to school. So it took me long and hard, but after some thinking, I decided to go to the University of Toronto. And the reason I wanted to go here is because I heard they had a very prestigious medical program. So I took my bags, took my books, and traveled to Toronto. And during my trips there, I had many difficulties. For starters, when I got to university, I had to study, study, study. That was all that was on my mind. And let me tell you, when I was in high school, I thought that was stressful. University is on a whole different level. Did bio, chem, and physics all in the same semester while balancing my job it was quite a difficult task. But I love the career of medicine. I decided that I'm going to pursue it no matter what. Finally, many years later, I was able to graduate from the University of Toronto in medicine. It took many years, but I finally did it. To be exact, it was in 1947, so then after this fateful day, I was finally ready to pursue my career, but there's a few pit stops I had to make to complete some of my missions I had in mind before. And this mission was a very special mission to me, and what it was, is that I had to travel from Toronto right after I got my degree. Newfoundland Labrador and I was working on a mission there called the Grenfell Medical Mission and what this mission was it was to create a hospital for little children over there who couldn't get the medical needs that they required in order to get better so that's what I would do for them it had taken me three no no sorry remember two years to complete this mission in Newfoundland this Grenfell Medical Mission but after the two years I had gone back to Toronto and I didn't go back to Toronto to go to university or study anything. No, no, I had enough of studying. I went back to the University of Toronto to practice my medicine career at the hospital for six children. And while I was at the hospital for six children, I started off very low in the ranks, but I managed to get myself very high and be a very well-respected man over there. As I explained earlier, after many hundred years of working at the sick children's hospital, I finally got named the chief insurgent. What the chief and surgeon was was a higher power in the hospital, and I had gained great respect from other surgeons, other staff members, and patients who I worked with. And this made me feel really good about my medical career and made me sure that this is what I really wanted to be. Initially, I co-founded a classification of girls' plate injuries in children, which is now commonly known as the Salter-Harris Fracture. It is known as the Salter-Harris Fracture since I founded it with a buddy of mine. This buddy's name was Harris. That's why they could call it the Salter-Harris Fracture. After that, I then developed the Salter operation to treat congenital dislocation of the hip. This was key because this had not been discovered before. It really helped people, even till date, and it is a really widely used operation. In the year 1970, I, Robert Bruce Salter, had this one brilliant idea that combined both my previous work 
and the knowledge I've been hard at work all of my life for the previous 20 years. I worked really hard, and I finally got it. Another very significant thing that I did throughout my lifetime was finding and working on this one project. I created this one machine which really helped the world. It is called the Continuous Passive Motion Machine. They are used in the first phases of rehabilitation which is followed by a soft tissue surgical procedure or trauma. CPM is carried out by a CPM device. This constantly moves the joint throughout a controlled range of motion. The exact range is dependent upon the joint, but in most cases, the range of motion increases over time. It's used in a lot of different kinds of reconstructive joint procedures. So what happens is, the patient with joint problems in their leg come to me. The reason that the patients come to see me is because I offer them special clothing to wear so that their clothes do not come in the way. I then carefully place the leg inside of the continuous passive motion device and I start the machine. The machine increases and decreases the range of the motion for a joint. From all the things that I came up with, becoming an MD, experience with communities, creating a surgical procedure, lab activities, creating a machine, working at a children's house hospital, I've written over 120 articles as well as textbook of disorders and injuries of the musculoskeletal system, which has sold over 195,000 copies and has been translated in six different languages. In the glorious year of 2007, after having a fantastic medical career, I, Dr. Robert Bruce Salter, was presented with an honorary Prime Mentor Award and then I was also put into the Canadian Medical Hall of Fame. I was, this is really close to my heart since I'm being appreciated for my hard work and I really would like to thank everyone for all of the help they gave me.